Well, CJ, I guess start off, how would you uh, how would you categorize that effort of performance tonight? Um, well, darn it. Shellacking. Just some other adjectives to describe it. Can, do you feel like this is you guys kind of going through the the issues that arise with kind of changing things up, or do you feel like there's something else going on? You've obviously got one good win and two pretty tough losses. 30 turnovers is hard to beat a middle school team, so um, you can't really win games playing like that. You got to take care of the ball. Um, get a shot every time. If you don't get a shot, a quality shot, and you turn the ball over, you're playing in transition, it's hard to compete you know, in that setting, so we got to do a better job. Sarah Petrus, here again. You guys played tremendous on Saturday night. Was there any type of hangover from that victory that carried over into this game? Was it just, just a bad night? I think it was a bad night. A lot of turnovers. Um, first first time traveling uh, for a regular season game. And they they brought it. We did it. You see, you just so uncharacteristic for game to have a strike of games and shots not falling. What what do you uh, have to do with South in these first few games? I was getting some quality looks. Uh, he's a tough shot maker. So uh, we're, we're used to him making shots. And I think, you know, obviously, uh, he hasn't he hasn't shot the ball the way he normally shoots it, but I would say 82 game season. Uh, when you don't shoot the ball particularly well, you know that it's only a matter of time before it turns around and, and he's hitting 30 footers again. Chauncey said you didn't feel like you guys ever seemed like you were kind of in this one mentally tonight. Can you? Did you feel the same way? And so could you? I played as hard as I could. Um, I try to play as hard as I can every night. I try to compete through ourselves myself uh, the best chance to play my best version of basketball then I thought we had a lot of careless plays uh, step slow um, not executing some layups turning the ball over I mean, that's why I think we had defensive breakdowns you just you play you play in transition for so long you know you're bound to get scored on when you give them a head start and everything's a, a two on one three on two four on three break the entire game CJ Chauncey was observing Dan there right now because of all the new pieces. He's trying to get everyone involved. How do you kind of see that process moving forward there? Is that having to do with Dan doing what he does and everyone else supporting him? So, yeah, I mean, it's an adjustment for everybody. Um, system, the coaches, uh, the personnel. Uh, you got 79 games left. We'll we figure out sooner than later, so there's not games like tonight, but. Um, good thing to say time is going to take us some time, but we got to speed up that learning curve and we got to speed it up uh, fast because we got some tough uh, opponents coming to town. Including the Clippers again on Friday. Right? Yeah, we're going to play them four times in the next two weeks, basically. Aaron Petrus. CJ, did the Clippers do anything defensively to disrupt your offense? Like they, they adjust to something they saw on film and you guys didn't adjust back, or was it just you guys just didn't play well, period? I think it was a combination of them, them being aggressive, um, not at least get, letting, letting us get to our spots. Uh, they were the aggressors, and um, in this in this sport, and just like life, um, you got to hit first. I think they hit first tonight. We tried to respond, but it was too late. We dug ourselves in a big hole, and then we turned the ball over, which made things worse. But you got to be the aggressors, and I don't think we were tonight. Chris Saltos, CJ, what is the biggest issue on the floor that you? That you have to resolve uh, on the next game, and how you could uh, could you describe the aggressive uh, the aggressiveness of your team on the floor? Well, our biggest issue tonight was transition. Uh, Thirty turnovers uh, is unacceptable, and that leads to transition baskets. That leads to us having to play kind of in a scramble. Uh, so that was the issue tonight. Uh, in terms of being aggressive, I think it's just you know being into the ball defensively, you know, denying passing lanes when you need to deny, pressuring the ball when you need to pressure closing out under control, but making sure that the uh, offense feels you and they feel your, your presence. And then offensively, being the aggressors, getting downhill, making the extra passes and uh, playing the game the right way. Chris, 